as we speak, children, women and men, the young and the old, are living in terror. Кому мы что плохо сделали наши люди? Сидит люди сейчас вот темень и сразу начало это все. Russian armed forces are continuing their strategy that frankly was effective in the Luhansk region, just shelling areas until it's rubble and then coming in, placing a flag on top, calling it conquest. Providing income to Russia to fuel that genocide makes absolutely no sense to the Ukrainian community. We are extremely disappointed. A regional official says 34 people are confirmed dead this morning, but the recovery work at the site of the shattered apartment block continues. Russia's stockpile of precision missiles and ordnance has been running low. As they fire these less precise weapons, sometimes they hit targets that are nowhere near a military target. Officials say that three Russian missiles hit an office building in a residential neighborhood that had no military value. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky accuses Russia of, quote, an open act of terrorism. This strike today is one of the deadliest in the war, far away from any front line. The turbine was at the Siemens facility for scheduled repairs, but it's part of the Nord Stream pipeline, which carries natural gas from Russia. Ottawa says its decision to hand back the turbine is meant to help an ally. On Friday, Germany began rationing hot water and dimming streetlights to conserve energy. The effect of holding on to them would be that Russia is either going to deliver less gas or possibly no gas at all. That would then plunge Germany and Europe into an economic and political crisis, which is, of course, exactly what Vladimir Putin is trying to provoke. If the is a terrorist, Може витиснути такий виняток у санкціях, то яких винятків вона захоче завтра чи післязавтра? Це питання дуже небезпечне.